Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I want to share some additional new features and changes in iOS 13 beta 2. Apple released the software yesterday if you didn't catch my initial coverage where I share with you guys at least 20 new features and changes. I'll link that down below. You can watch that video. In this video follow up, I want to share with you guys 20 plus more additional new features and changes in iOS 13 and beta 2. So let's begin. I want to start within the messages application. If we take a look at the new Memoji stickers available in iOS 13, we now have three additional new Memojis. We have the fingers crossed, the hush, and the thinking face Memoji now available within the new messages application. Now on the home screen, if we 3D touch on reminders, for example, here, we see that we have a cleaner look and we have the add to widget, which I talked about yesterday. But something that's also a difference that I noticed, if we 3D touch on beta one, we see that we have this white banner going across the top of reminders here, something that we don't have in beta two. So a cleaner look within the 3D touch menus and icons on the home screen for iOS 13 beta two. Now jumping over to the app store, we now have a notification badge that tells us if we have an app update available. Now, of course, that's going to be if you have automatic app updates turned off within settings, you'll get this notification badge, something currently not present in beta one. So we have the same app updates available, but now we have a breakdown at the bottom of apps that are pending to be updated, the recent updated and badges on the actual avatar for the app store. Now, if we jump over into the files application and we 3D touch on one of these icons here, we also have a slightly different menu. There's been some additional options added to this particular options here. So if we take a look here, we now have the delete button is no longer highlighted in red. Duplicates has been added as well. And if we take a look at the bottom here, our remove download has been removed from the menu on beta two. So slightly different interface there for your files in the files application as well. So now let's go ahead and shift our attention to much needed updates for the HomePod, the Apple TV, iOS and the entire Apple ecosystem integration. So we have the HomePod can now recognize multiple voices. So Siri can now recognize your voice specifically. And if you have the personal request enabled, so Siri can read your reminders, your to-do list, your text messages, your notes, etc. So using your voice, Siri will be able to recognize it is you. So if there's multiple users in the house, Siri will read the message pertaining to that particular person or the notes or the reminders, whatever it is that you request that includes movies, TV shows, and also music because this also ties together with Apple's entire ecosystem in the house with HomePod, iOS, tvOS and of course iPadOS everything just ties together so if there's more than one user in your home and you have your Apple TV set up with multiple Apple IDs your home pod also set up with multiple voice to use this all ties together so when you log into your Apple TV it'll have your personal requests your personal movies and TV shows and of course other users will also have theirs as well so everything is tying together here with Apple's new ecosystem with Apple TV home pod and iOS now of course all devices need to be running the latest versions of iOS for this to work properly as you see here. Now also received a new voice memo splash screen updates right here it shows how the new Apple Watch can now uh, do the voice memos for you right on your wrist. And the new wireless audio syncing is now available for AirPlay 2 devices. So if you have an AirPlay 2 device television, it can now be synced Audio Sync is available for these platforms as well. So a ton of updates coming with Apple's entire ecosystem tying together iOS, tvOS, macOS, just everything with the HomePod and everything tying together here. Now, Announce Messages with Siri has also received a new uh, UI, if you will, when you go to set it up for the first time. This is the UI right here. So Siri can now read your messages, incoming messages, of course, when you have your AirPods in your ear. So that's also great news to know that Siri can now do that. Now, I also want to talk about speed and performance. I have to say that right away after using iOS 13 beta 2 for the last 24 hours, I can tell a lot of the bugs have been fixed. There was a bug that was driving me crazy, just simply crazy, and that was the emoji keyboard bug when we used to try to swipe to the right or to the left that would get stuck. A lot of the stutters, a lot of the crashes have been fixed in the second beta, of course, is nowhere near perfect or good yet to use as a daily driver, I would say. A lot of people are asking me, a lot of you guys have been asking, should I install this iOS 13 on my primary device? And the short answer to that, I would say no, just not yet. I think we should wait for the public beta and then I think you'll have a better experience with iOS 13. But for those of you who are looking to update to iOS 13 as of right now, I really don't recommend it. It's just 
is beta 2 it is improving bugs have been fixed a lot of new features and changes are currently available as you see here but it is not a stable software if you only have one device and you want to use it as your daily driver i do not recommend it as of right now so thank you so much for watching guys of course my follow-up video continues here with battery speed and performance that video should be up in the next two to three days of course you can stay tuned here to the channel thank you for watching today's video guys i'll see you on the next one peace